Tiger Stadium. 50 years ago was a game that made me love the game. The All-Star Game. Here was the All-Star Game that made me love the game. Six homers from the Hall of Fame. Not to mention two brothers throwing against one another. Vital Blue and Doc Ellis. Saw it like hip-hop before TikTok. Tiger State of Detroit was a stop. Showtown and Motown. Let the good times rock. Summer of 71. Twas the night my baseball cards came to life. 25 future Hall of Famers. Umpires, managers, coaches, play-by-players. The rest outstanding ball players. All before Mr. October. Was the man that hit the transformer? All star game with the Hall of Fame power. Reggie Jackson hit the light tower. Long before Mr. October, was the man that hit the transformer. All star game with the Hall of Fame power. Reggie Jackson hit the light tower. Jackson killer, Blue Frank Robinson, Aparicio Yaz, Karu Brooks Robinson, Al K Line, one of five Tigers, American League National Nine. Yeah, Aaron May, McCovey and Bench, Roberto Clemente, top of the eighth, went over the fence. Star Joe Santo, Tory Brock, at the pitches, Hall of Fame on lock. Our receiver, Marichelle Jenkins, Steve Carlton. What am I thinking? Umpires, managers, announces to Kurt Gowdy, calling for you. the right field. Vital Blue was the winner, although he yielded. Two homers to bitch and Aaron. Upper deck is how the wind was carrying. In the bottom of the third, Doc was a loser to be. No, he wasn't on LSD. Jackson and Frank Robinson. Right field blast like a shotgun. Like I said, Roberto hit another one. Upper right tier, side was coming that year. Army killer who killed the pitch. Pulled against the wind in left field. Vital Blue with the win. As a kid, I see my heroes give what they gave. By the way, Detroit's Mickey Lolich, he ended it with a save. Long before Mr. October was the man that hit the transformer. All the 